Medusa oh, wearing a faded yellow uh, Hindu sarong and for her abundant, uh, well, blue veins, uh, a mammary bulging, she is breastfeeding her crypt cave born kid. And well, the baby uh, blissed up, gurgles up, and this causes a trickle of regurgitated milk. Mm hmm to run down the flat bronze muscular stomach of Medusa. Yeah. Cave woman? Until it comes to rest in her navel cavity? Until it spills over from there and evaporates in the hot morning sun of Matala? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leaving a dry flaky cream trail of what once had been the river of life, which Medusa itches unconsciously, <laughs> like a Nithandral cave woman, on automatic pilot taking care of business. Whew. And in a nutshell, that's the whole of Greek philosophy. Well, the Rastafarian from Jamaica, she dips into uh, uh, her finger into a into a pot of Themisia honey. Themisia honey made from the the blossom of the thyme plant. This is Greece's greatest uh, honey. And then she, um, just as the Ra Randy Fabius did, uh, uh, when he dripped uh, Th Themisia honey between her creamy thighs, 17 centuries ago, I told you, this is the whole of Greek history here. Um, and uh, she seductively gazes into the eyes of her world lion. Um, she sticks her honey dripping finger in, uh, it's slithering in and out of her mouth, coated with honey. Yum, yum. Maybe we can play with. Honey, in Istanbul tonight. Exotic. Oh, Sphinx laughs at her natural teenage exuberance. Yeah, and agrees, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'll be having a great time in Istanbul tonight. Well, Yogurt uh, approaches Sphinx. I mean, everybody knows him. Uh, Kalimata, Vilosmo, Dikante, Kala. He hands Sphinx a diplomatic envelope that had been delivered just earlier by an unknown Greek cab driver from Iraculon. Uh, and for absolute privacy, yeah, he's, this, this envelope is wax sealed with burgundy twine. And into the wax, over the twine, is an Egyptian scarab impressed into the wax. And Sphinx has got one of these scarab rings himself. Only he and his father have these particular mystical coded, Da Vinci coded rings. And the message inside, oh, it's from his prestigious father, Tutankhamun, who has been and is now the Egyptian ambassador to Turkey. Hello. For the last 30 years, years. Well, he reads the note from, you know, his father. This is what it says. Oh, there will be a Rolls Royce with diplomatic plates from my Ankara embassy parked in front of the Guhani Hotel, where your hippie penthouse is, in Sultan Ahmed in Istanbul for your immediate use. Oh, 
Omar the Dustmaster, our guru is dying. Uh, you must drive the rolls to his underground crypt in Cappadocia, remote Cappadocia, and urgently attend to him straight away. Ah. 